So here are the council chambers where people were duped into believing they would be allowed to come in and speak, all given red tickets. And then the mayor had a little secret meeting upstairs, didn't allow people to come and speak. So city council went up here, and these stairs here were filled with law enforcement preventing people from going. These stairs here were filled with law enforcement to keep people from going upstairs to try to petition their government for redress of grievance. And they herded everybody out of these hallways into this confined space down here. So one thing I'd like to point out is all the videos you see in corporate media is about from shoulder height. You need to see the angle or the incline of uh, the stairs that people were actually pushed down. This is the stair area where you see the police pushing everyone down. Okay, see this angle? It's about a 40 degree angle. Okay, so when you saw those cops pushing people into here, those people jammed into this corner here and brutalized. Sarah Long, Robert West, the film The Police Portland were shoved down into this area. And then when there was a conflict at this door, there was a woman trying to hold this door open so that people could egress without being hurt. Okay, and I need to point this out. Sarah Long was shoved off of this step down onto the ground down here, you know, right? So she lands here, right? Also, when you see that really big sergeant shoving Jesse Sponberg out of the doorways, Jesse flew all the way down this step, across this big uh, uh, slab of step, across this one and this one, and landed down here. So to give you an idea, how tall are you, Bob? 5'11". All right, to give you an idea of scale, Bob is 5'11". Jesse Sponberg landed where my foot is, so he was launched from here to here, all the way down there, okay? So that level of force is completely uncalled for for standing there uh, with a camera. Sponberg never touched any of those cops. He was just standing there. Just absolute grotesque amount of force used. Okay, police started pepper spraying people. You can't go in that way. You gotta go all the way around. That's fine, I'll go around. But people started pepper spraying people inside this enclosed space before they were out. So they bottlenecked that huge volume of area, all those people crammed into this small space here. Okay. You can also clearly see a cop lunge forward and start punching someone in the face and then they go down the stairs. Okay, just just ridiculous, uncalled for, and disgusting use of force. Also in the common area, we're facing the doors everyone was herded and shoved into in that enclosed bottleneck. City Hall has a camera directly above it. It's a movable camera so they can tilt the angle. It just tilted directly at me. See how it moves? There's somebody in a control room having a look at it. So, we are unsure at what angle, but hopefully this video or that uh, camera has a timestamp. Wait, wait, stop. This reenactment is brought to you by Robert West of Film the Police 911. This is Robert West pretending like he's a phalanx of cops with violence on their minds. Okay, Bob, what's going on? Okay, they came up the stairs like this. A, a straight row of them, right? Right. Okay. And they came over here. Some went down that hallway. Yep. Some went down this hallway. Okay, so part of their ranks went this way, another this way. Okie dokie. I was standing on the inside of the tower. There's three people on the staircase. 
So you were standing right here, Bob? Yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, Hi. Okay, right on. Okay, they said City Hall is closed. And they came around like this and said, back, back, back. Here's the first contact right here. Okie dokie. They so, came around here. So this was full of people, right? All this area where I'm. Right? Uh, there's only a couple here. Oh, okay, a couple people here, all right. And then they started pushing them back. Then the people on the staircase here got pushed down. The cops came down the staircase there, and they just started pushing people back, 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 back. And then they are pushing, 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 pushing. Meanwhile, this camera here is filming. And then what they did was they came around like this, tried to force them into the doors, and then they really start pushing really hard to get people down the stairs. Down this dangerous angle of stairs. Yes. Wow. One guy was in a wheelchair that had him go up over here. Okay. Um, so that he didn't go down the stairs. Well, at least they had mercy on the guy that had, uh, you know, handicap issues. Yeah. So Bob, when they first moved people out of the common areas of City Hall, uh, j just give me a rundown. Exactly how did, how did that go down? They came up the staircase, they went over, they um, blocked off both wings on the uh, City Council side. Yeah. And then um, 20, 30 seconds later, they announced City Hall was closed. And then they came in, made a line, and started, pu started pushing people back. So 30 seconds to move. Wow. And they had a guy up there in a wheelchair, too. Something I have to point out is there, there's this dome camera here capturing everything that's going on coming down the stairs. And there's another dome camera right here. So City Hall has two angles of this that we will be requesting really great vantage points they should have. So in my videos of this craziness, this is the side of the street right up against City Hall and I was up on this wall here when the police took me into custody. And there's a couple things I want to point out. Our lawyers need to subpoena The footage from this TriMet camera. The footage from this TriMet camera. As well as the footage from this one. These are excellent angles of all the unwarranted use of force against the people. People were ordered onto that sidewalk where that person in the red red coat is walking. People complied with that, formed a line, and then the police went way in to the sidewalk past, see that tree right there? The police went in past that tree and arrested two people, okay, and pushed and shoved. You saw all that on my video. After they complied with Portland Police Bureau's orders, just sick, man. Now I've traveled across the street where the TriMet cameras are, where the people were brutalized after they followed Portland Police Bureau's quote unquote lawful orders. What's up, 99? How you doing? Starbucks had these cameras rolling. Turn on my infrared so you can see it. There's dome cameras here with an excellent angle of what went on probably. I'm not sure where they're facing. And this is a Key Bank uh, Tower uh, Pac West Center by the way. There's a whole lot of businesses that are in here. So I don't know who owns these cameras. There's more dome cameras here that we need our lawyers to get a hold of.
as well as here. So yeah, right there is where the wounded people we're trying to get medical attention by street medics. If you don't know what street medics are when you're watching this on, online or whatnot, street medics are mostly people that are uh, trained, trained medically. Sometimes they're not, but most of the time they are. And they volunteer their services to treat things like pepper spray and uh, impact weapon wounds and stuff like that. When people tried to call for AMR to come in here, Portland Police Bureau would not allow ambulances to uh, come close to the scene. And I mean, there was a pile of people here. When I first arrived on scene, this entire area here was just scattered intermittently with people uh, trying to get treated with milk from their pepper spray wounds. But Portland Police Bureau ordered to reiterate AMR to stage on this corner and wouldn't allow them to go and uh, set up their own triage. It's absolutely ridiculous, man. So we also believe that this camera here in the Pac West Towers at the top of these stairs here may be facing out the uh, windows and there might be some good video to be had at the TriMet stop out here where people were being treated medically and whatnot. Also in here, since these windows are very tall, we have this dome camera here. I'm pretty sure it's probably facing the elevator. If I set up a security scheme for this area, I would. And that also faces out by our medical triage area that was going on out there. The good people of Portland's medical triage area. And then perhaps this camera here also may have caught some footage that may be of use. Yeah. That's the area where yeah. everyone was staging uh, yeah, that was with the medical and whatnot. Another thing our lawyers need to look at is the TriMet Max lines. They have cameras on the inside and outside uh, to possibly subpoena that footage as well. And there were Max lines delayed and parked right here facing this area for a long time. Oh, and incidentally, at the corner of uh, 5th and Madison, there's also a dome camera that may be facing the street catching what was going on out here as well. 